All right, so we left off after creating the custom carousel here. So now we need to move on and go to the blog post area on the home page. So we're going to go right under the end carousel here. And let's create a new row. Okay, and in that row, we're going to have an eight column div and a four column. So the eight column is where the blog posts will go, and the four column is where the sidebar will go. So blog posts, let's create a div for each post and we're going to give them a class of well, which is a bootstrap core class. Basically it gives it padding, it gives it a, a light gray background and some uh, and a border. All right, but we also want our own class as well, so we'll give it a class of blog post. All right. And we want to have the title as an H3. Okay, and we want the title to be clickable. I wrote the word click. Um, so that's going to go to post.html. Uh, what else? The text will say blog post one. All right, and under the H3, let me just see if that lines up correctly. All right, so this is the well. It has, you'll see it has a um, border. It gives it some padding. Uh, let's see. So after the heading, we're going to want the info bar, which is going to have the author name, the date, things like that. And we'll make this a paragraph. So give it a class of post. Oops post info and we want it to say actually we want an icon so let's give it an i tag with glyph icon glyph icon time Okay, the space after that, and we're going to say posted by. And feel free to put your own name on uh, August 21st, 2014 at 10 p.m. And then we'll have an, an har a horizontal rule and the image. Okay, so each post has its own image. This one is going to be, uh, I think it's blog one dot JPEG. And we want to give it a class of image responsive. And I think that's good. Yeah, that's good. So we're going to do another HR tag and then a uh, paragraph. So I'm going to just grab that, paste it in. Okay, just some intro text. And then we're going to have a button or a link formatted as a button. BTN primary and we'll have that go to post.html all right and I'm gonna put a um, uh, an icon in this button as well so span class
Plephicon Chevron right, which is just a, a right arrow. So let's see what that looks like. All right, so we still haven't styled it. Um, wh what is this? I'm not sure what these are. That's really strange. Let me just check that out. Well, blog post. Hmm. Oh well. Let's just keep going. Uh, basically, I just want to copy from here to here. Okay, we'll paste two more in. Change the text here. Okay, blog post two. Change the image. Where's the image? Whoop. All right. Huh, I'm not sure why these are here. That is really strange. Oh wait, I never ended the What what is oh okay so we're missing we're missing that uh symbol that greater than symbol. So make sure you put the put that on. There we go. Alright. So we didn't we haven't done any styling for it yet and it still looks pretty good. So before we do the styling on that, I just want to get the sidebar stuff in, which isn't much. So we want to go down to the four column div right here. And we'll do our search box. So we want a div class. This is also going to be a, a well. And we want H4s. We'll say blog search. Okay, class is input group. And we just want one input. Type is text. And class is form control. And then under that, I'm going to go ahead and create a span tag and give that a class of input group btn and let's see inside that we want our button so button class is going to be btn btn default and the type should be a button all right and then under that or in that I should say in the button is going to be another span and this is going to be a glyphicon and search All right, and there we go. So the next thing, what is the next thing? It's the categories. Okay, so we want to go. We want to stay in this four-column div, but go outside of this well. So we want to go right here, and this is going to be another well.
and let's give that an h4 as well and we'll say categories and we want a row and we're just going to have two columns of categories here just paste this in it's just an unordered list okay I'm gonna paste it in in both column and both uh, column divs okay we gave it list unstyled which just means it'll take away all the padding and stuff like that um, and then that should be good for the categories last thing is just that little side widget so we want to go after this well which ends here All right, and inside the well, another H4, and we're just gonna say sidebar widget. And then I'm gonna paste a paragraph in. And that's it. So we save that, reload, and there's our sidebar. All right, so I wanna add a little bit of style for these posts, so let's go to the style sheet. And I'm gonna go right here above the above the media queries. And basically all we want to style here is the post info bar. So post info. I'm gonna give it a dark background, same as the website background. Make sure the color is white so we can see it. Add a little bit of padding. And we'll give it a border. Uh, CCC one pixel solid okay let's take a look at that okay that looks a little better and I think I think that's pretty much it oh I do just want to put a pager in which at the bottom we just want buttons that'll say next previous um, which won't actually work because it's not a real blog, but uh, just to have them so you know. And we want to keep them in the eight column div. So we want to go, okay, see where this ends, which is right there. So we'll go right above it. And for the pager, it's going to be an unordered list with a class of pager and we'll say li class is going to be previous and we'll put an a tag in here okay and we're going to use the character symbol lar and say older. Okay, and then I'm just going to copy that list item and change this to next. All right, and this this code is going to be rar for the right arrow. Okay, so all this is is left arrow and right arrow. All right, so we'll save that. And you can see that they're nice and formatted for us. The next is to the right, the older is to the left. Okay, so that is the home page. In the next video, we're going to take care of the about and the contact, which are really simple pages. Uh, so I will see you in the next video.